How can a statin be good for the heart if it takes out the most vital nutrient? There's something magical about getting the nightshades out of your diet. Sugar's the enemy. Now, cholesterol's your friend. I've heard a lot about omega-3s. Just what do they do and why are they important? Omega-3s are important because we call them omega-3 essential fatty acids. In other words, um, you know, the, they're in the diet, but the body can't make it, so we have to take them in. And what they do, basically, is they're, they're anti-inflammatory. And uh, the problem is there's a lot of oils out there, like the omega-6 oils, like canola oil and soy oils, cottonseed oils, and they're pro-inflammatory. The omega-3 oils are anti-inflammatory, and the body needs them in a proper ratio. I mean, you know, centuries ago, there was like a 20 to 1 ratio. We were eating a lot of omega-3s, you know, hunter-gatherers and, and people who were eating wild game and fish and stuff like that. They, they got a lot of omega-3 in the body. But today, we're getting all these inflammatory components. So we need to neutralize all these inflammatory foods that we're eating. And uh, omega-3s are the best way to do it. And, you know, if you have high triglycerides, it'll lower that. It'll help to lower blood pressure. I mean, omega-3s do a lot of good stuff for the body. Can you get too much omega-3s? If you're on Coumadin, you could. You can definitely get interactions with bleeding. In fact, the literature suggests that if you take six grams of omega-3, which is a large dose, and you're on Coumadin at the same time, you know, a blood thinner, um, you could possibly get bleeding. Remember, one of the advantages of omega-3s is keeping the blood thin. That's why it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, and uh, uh, I like omega-3s for healthy people in the one to two gram. If you don't eat fish, you can go two to three grams. The average American only gets about 120 milligrams of DHA. So I really feel that bringing DHA to the table when you're taking omega-3s is really uh, key. And, and that's why um, I like squid oil. I mean, I, I like squid oil because um, it has, you know, higher content of DHA uh, over EPA. So um, can you take too much omega-3s? Yeah, if you're on cumin, then six grams is enough. For the average person, though, one to two grams is enough. Uh, if you don't eat fish, you can go two to three grams. If you have, if, if you're compromised with, 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 you know, not feeling well, you can certainly go a little higher. This video was brought to you by Dr. Sinatra's Omega Q Plus family of supplements. Click here to learn more.